Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world. And I've got to tell you right now, I'm feeling like a kid in a toy store right now. <laughs> uh, we got uh, 182 supplies, 97 alloys, 85 valerium, 25 cores, 132 intel. Scientists, we could do better, but you know, we are infiltrating a mission to, to grab another one. Engineers, probably uh, we got our minimum we should have at this time. I'm guessing we have two contacts to make powers okay, especially if I get some engineers in there, which we'll get soon. And uh, we just got a lot going on. In fact, if I expand our event queue, eight hours we get our side, final side trainer back, nine hours our rooms are cleared, 19 hours so in one day, and we finish our basic research. So just in one day's time, a heck of a lot is happening, and it's all exciting to me. <laughs> It is exciting to me. And let's just check in here. And yes, with our mission over, we now have some new individuals available. And we're going to go in here. I'm just going to get uh, the first one that's right there. Get them going first. And this is a bond level number two. So this is a uh, this is a good one. This one's a lot better than bond one, obviously. And let's go get it going. And this one only takes three days. That's the nice thing about bond training. <laughs> it's a lot quicker than some of the other training, although we don't have much time left on all these other trainings. Now I want to come in here and look in the armory real quick because we did pick up a new uh, faction member, and I think there might even be a promotion. that any who once served the elders could ever truly defy their false gods. We remain wary of their kind. But for now, their quest for vengeance serves our purpose. Thank you, Geist. Uh, so Dave Daly and Grinder, for whatever reason, I can't even fully remember why I didn't just pick this one that we had chosen, Airdrop. Uh, I think I, after a long mission like that, I was thinking, well, Field Medic. But we, I, I do have a, a total support build for one of our specialists. And you're going to be focused on the Gremlin here. So let's just... Get that gremlin perk right here and get it going. Why Why I didn't pick that before? Oh, oh, I think the screen wouldn't let me click on it, didn't it? Wasn't that the case? Something like that. Uh, and also then, Hail of Bullets. I've decided looking at these two. I, I think I prefer Hail of Bullets over this, although eventually with average, I think we'll be able to pick up both. Uh, but for starters, I'm picking Hail, for, Hail of Bullets because I'm not limited to just full health targets. And we'll go there for you. Just got to remember, I'm not going to be uh, using you anymore with an SMG, uh, except for special circumstances, maybe large map or something where we need mobility. But for the most part, I want you to keep you with a decent weapon so we can take advantage of this hail of bullets. And let's go see who else we might have the opportunity to promote. And we got two more down here. Dark Admiral, yeah, you came out of that covert op. So let's see what you have in store for your promotion. And we're looking at Field Surgeon. So even though I'm using you as an Overwatch Specialist build, I am still picking up Field Surgeon. It's just, I, I just feel like uh, I can't beat it. And Covering Fire, of all the Overwatch kind of perks, it's my, I think it's least critical uh, that we have to pick up. So let, let's go with Field Surgeon. And... There we go. And then we don't really have any AP built up, so we won't look at your special perks. And then finally, we have Mary Fury Crawford. And uh, let's make sure she stays furious at Advent and not us. That would be my suggestion. All right, so this is, uh, so we have Rend. That's the basic perks. We pick up Rend. We pick up Volt, an AOE attack that makes its targets easier to hit. We pick up focus, or we, we, we gain focus to use for some of our other abilities, and momentum. After we rend, we gain a bonus movement action to hopefully run to safety. And there's really, there's many different viable builds. Probably more so, there's probably more hard choices on this than anything I've dealt with so far. And I don't have a lot of experience with Templars. So, I've decided... I kind of looked at this ahead of time. I've decided to go with a tanky build. The reason being, we don't truly have a tank on the team, and since there's a tank build available, kind of more down in this Sage row, that's how I'm going to use my Templar. 
just so we have uh, some variety of units, some variety of ways to play, and we're going to give it a go. So uh, almost, I will stick to this bottom row, but not quite. Because I also like the idea in reading this one. I, I want to mess around with Invert and see if it's any good. It sounds like it has the potential to get us out of some tight spots. And we're going to give it a go. Basically, we revert. We can switch locations with a unit. And I think my understanding is it could be even a citizen. I think supposedly you, you can invert with anybody on the map except perhaps Chosen. But other than that, uh, that, that could get us into some interesting spots. Or if we have a particular difficult enemy out there, maybe invert with them <laughs> into the middle of the, the team so we can just go blam, 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 <laughs> that kind of a thing. Other than that, I think I'm going to pick defensive perks now. 35% uh, less damage against attacks within four tiles. And, and since we're a rending build, uh, you know, basically, we, we have the ability to rend. We'll, we'll tend to be closer than the average soldier also. And if we're going to end up being a, a tank kind of a build, we're just going to probably be closer in general. And, uh, you know, you can go to the wiki and see exactly what I'm picking here. I'm not going to spend the time right now going through every perk that I'm picking, but this is the build I'm planning out. Now, we are very, 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 and I'll say it again, very low combat intelligence. And that, that nets us about 30 AP. So there's probably not going to be a lot of uh, choices that, that, that work for us. I, I'm kind of thinking we would be able to just barely be able to afford hard target where we gain five dodge per enemy we can see. And if we're going to be a tank, well, I guess dodge wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, so for now, I'm going to pick that. Lightning Slash, I don't think we could afford without help. And Overkill, Inspire Agility, Rapid Deployment, Phantom, and Covert. If I'm going to be a tank, I don't want to be hidden, I guess. So n none of these other inspire a lot, inspire me that much. And there we go. Welcome aboard, Mary the Furious Crawford. All right, so I think it's time to probably move on out there right at the moment. And, uh, well, actually, there's one more room I want to take a look at, and that is uh, the Proving Grounds. And our equipment is ready to begin assembly, Commander. Just give the word and we'll build the Skull Jack. Yeah, well, uh, the Skulljack will need to be built by us, but I kind of want to pick up right now the, the hazmat vest. It's 11 days. Now, in less than a day, we gain back a bunch of engineers. I'm planning to put one in here, so this build time will be even less than 11 days. I also wouldn't mind having a frost bomb in our arsenal and eventually even a, a hunter's axe. But for starters, I think I want the hazmat vest because... There are some times that our techni technicals uh, can get can get a little hot around the collar, so I think uh, immunity to fire, acid, poison would not be a bad thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that research That's first. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Okay, and then yeah, it's a matter of getting out on, onto the map and uh, getting things happening. So let's get going. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance, and we can move on the Advent Black Site on your order. We should make sure our troops are fully equipped and ready for a tough mission. I'm guessing security will be tight at the facility. Commander, we have a priority message coming through. It looks like an encoded signal from the resistance. Patching it through to your quarters now. I almost feel like that first Bradford comment shouldn't have popped up. The second one should have. Let's go accept the transmission. seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent. 
from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. All right. I'm tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. All right, so the location is unknown, although that signifies the location, I guess. So let's get going. Oh, and we have access to potentially another resistance mech, so we will take a look at that because I've been having fun the few times we've been able to use it so far. But uh, I think we have other more immediate priorities, but uh, hopefully I won't forget this. Aha! If you ask me, Whew. Templars are just as crazy as my brother. What <laughs> is it about psionic energy? That seems to drive them so completely mad. So we, 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 we're doing better than I could have hoped. Well, I guess I could have hoped for even less, but that that's that 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 I thought it would be worse than than four ticks. So I'm happy with our, our progress there so far. Although we'll still keep pushing forward from there. So let's get down and let's find ourselves here. There's where's where the resistant smack will be found. And uh, since we're getting a scientist, I'm going to hold off on going to the black market because I know I had been thinking we have to get there for a scientist. But since we're going to try and rescue one soon, uh, we'll hold off and I'm going to try making contact over here next. That's going to be my newest priority. Before we do that, we're going to get in here and put everybody on supply because that is what we are going to do down here for now. Uh, I guess... Well, let, 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 I think we're, let's see what we're sitting at for sure. See, we're only sitting at nine. Um, and since we have a supply drop in only five days, you know what I'm going to do? We're, we're not going to get a payoff in five days. So what we're going to do instead is recruit for five days. And then once the end of the month period hits, that's when we'll switch us to get a full month's worth of supply. Uh, off the team. I'm gonna I'm gonna try building up the team a little bit more even though we got you know We got rid of a couple faceless. I want to build it back up. I the, the ideal number is to max out uh, The Haven to 13 and why don't we take five days to try and recruit one or two in and cross our fingers that we can build up the the, the team over here I think that's the way I'll play it here and then uh What we could yeah, I may have a few little things we could sell at the black market. I don't know and since we're at the end of the month and we kind of made that our, our goal, I'm also going to switch everybody here into hiding except for two of us who will continue recruiting. And I got to get a Haven advisor back in here. We'll just throw Gravedigger in there for now. And I think everybody has uh, a Haven advisor now. So we're at strength five here. So we need to be careful now that retaliations, if not, you know, very shortly should be coming online again. Here, with Strength 4, we're going to keep our team on Intel. We're going to have to hide this group here pretty quick. Uh, looking at the numbers, Vigilance 7, that strength is going to keep climbing. So, I think uh, what we will do is, yeah, we're, we're, we're coming here to... We need another contact where we can run missions out of, while some others cool off. Plus, having, a, having locations next to our liberated region is very good so we can keep track of troop buildups so that means it kind of makes sense for us to at some point contact new chile so uh, but at the same time this is important to build a path there and we could do it one technically in two more gaining two more after this new indonesia so let's just fly here and make contact setting course for indonesia
four days. So Kara Coleman contacted in New Mexico. A rookie, uh, it sounded like we may have a recruit. So let's see if they were Haven. Yeah, nobody knew there. So that was probably a new rookie into our contact list. And here, well, it's hard. Now we're still at eight. So we, we probably got rookie soldiers that are available to be recruited now. And there's that pesky thing. And yeah, so there's no new adjustments to make at the Havens. Let's keep going. Attempting to establish local regional contact. All right, uh, welcome to the team. Officially, Tiber Asia, you're able to go out on missions now. They knew what they were getting themselves ah. into when they joined up with your resistance. The elders don't have mercy to spare for anyone. All right, so we're up to one and a half. You know, we we got to get moving. We got to get our. I think we got to start getting our uh, covert activities ramped up is what I'm kind of thinking, looking at how high they're getting. So uh, supply intel recruit activity efficiency has been decreased by 20%. I assume and I hope that's only in the New Mexico Haven region. So uh, I, I, uh, yeah, we, we, we got to pick up our focus and effort against the Chosen, I think. These Chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, Commander, and are spreading terror throughout the Resistance as they go. We'll need to pay close attention to each one as they gain more information about our plans. Thank you, Bradford. We got 68 supplies finishing that room, so let's just carry on. And there we go. We got our both rooms cleared just about the same time. 71 more supplies and 30, 30 alien alloys. So now let's get down in there and view the room and kind of spread out our engineers who are twiddling their, twiddling their thumbs right now. And I'm thinking we may look at building a resistance ring because we can definitely afford to do that. And I'm thinking looking at their knowledge building up, the hunters especially, uh, we need to start hunting them down and, and making progress there. And, we'll be able to do it a lot faster with the resistance rings. Now, eventually we're going to need a resistance comms. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's get going that way. I think that's going to be important for us. So first of all, uh, we can do the exposed power coil. And I think we'll just put three right in there. Boom, boom, boom. And excavate 15 days. I uh, would like to get somebody in the Proving Grounds. Phoebe, you are the one. And then I would like to get somebody into the Energy Power Relay. So once we build another building, hopefully we have enough power to build another one when we get enough supplies. Because right now we're at 301 freaking supplies. Look at that. It gets me so happy and excited to see numbers like that. Okay. So our supply is now up to 26, so we have 10. And we're going to spend some of it right now. And I'm thinking, like I was talking, I think Resistance Ring is the one that makes the most sense now. Infirmary, now, you know, once I pass this up again, that's when we go and get a rash of injuries. <laughs> and Resistance Com we're going to need soon enough. Four, seven, ten. Well, there's, there's our ten power that we just made. Although I can get another engineer in there if there's something else we need to uh, build. So let's start with the resistance ring. As a matter of fact, uh, let's take Nathifa Talal out and bring that person over here. That way the resistance ring will build just a little bit faster. Yeah, six days. And we'll, we'll move you back down here once that's done. And in our proving ground, uh, we should have speed bed up well let's back out in our proving ground we should have yeah the hazmat vest is down to six days now i think it started around 11 so i think we're in good shape here for the moment and uh oh there was one other thing i wanted to show y'all in here that i that i i was looking at before we started but if i just get everybody sorted for all those that are ready Sound and available we only have i'm going to talk over geist this time we only have Carlos Sectoid wounded at four days. When the elders are truly banished from the earth, we will be the masters of the power they have left behind. This is what I wanted to point out. From that long, big uh, advent, or the HQ assault mission, We some of us became a little tired. We, we had some problems with our will. Some of these 
uh, like Anthros, you only had 23 to begin with, so that's why you're so tired. And we, we ate up a lot of will on some of these folks. Now, I have a couple will PCS chips that if I need people that are tired right now, I can throw them on somebody. Like if I want to take out the Bond, Kurt, Kurt Wagner, you know, or if I wanted to take out uh, Dave the Alien Grinder, I could slap them on you guys to keep Bond pairs together. Uh, but we'll do that uh, as the situations approach, as we start new infiltrations, we'll figure out. Otherwise, the four of you as a whole are out for eight to nine days. So it's, it's almost like being injured. But, you know, we got that mission done. We got that mission done. And look, it, we had Raul Lasermaster was on that, but he started at 43 down to 31. So he's technically not tired. If we take him out a bunch in a row, we'll, we'll get him there. But I uh, just wanted to show that to people too, so you can see how Will plays on getting someone tired uh, if you take them out too many times in a row or, as we saw, on a very long mission. Okay, let's get back out to the map and let's make this contact. All right. Welcome back, Alexei. You are now available as a commander. And you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to go right back in there. Commander, we currently have no new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. Um, Laser Master, I'm throwing you right back in. And uh, we have incoming, so we can activate this ability to grant everyone within command range four points of damage resistance against explosive attacks through the end of the next turn, or get some. Twice permission, spend an action to grant all allies within command range a 20 bonus to critical hit chances for the remainder of the turn. Um, and then they both have their places. But since we have you on the offensive focus fire, we're going to keep it get some for you in particular. So let's, let's, let's get some. And Raul, you'll be out for another six days uh, till we can take you out on a mission. So... Train well, my friend. Train well. Now let's get back out there and make contact. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. All right. So basic research will help speed up a tiny bit uh, some of our research. But the big thing is we should now be able to afford some amazing researches. So uh, congratulations on the basic research. Let's continue. Uh, you know, I'm... I, I'm glad we got this inspired, but it's not what I need right away, to be quite honest. It lowers it down to five days, but battle armor is not what I need. I need weapons, and I'm picking advanced magnetic weaponry next. I need I need our heavy, big, specialized guns to be able to be of the magnetic variety. And then I'm really leaning towards this, robotics next. Thank goodness we found a ton of drone wrecks. We need to start upgrading our gremlins about this time. Uh, I think some of those turret breakdowns perhaps will allow the building I want to build in case we get attacked by that UFO dark event. So all, I almost want to do this first, but gosh darn it, we need this too. And hopefully when we get a new scientist, that'll lower... Well, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I want this. I'm going to do robotics first. Well, but then I'd have to do yet another research. And I, I need this weaponry now. The force levels are going to be rising. And the enemies, the enemies were already challenging enough on, on our assault. So we're going to go this and then robotics is what I'm thinking. But you can see all the other things we can unlock with all our all our corpses now. A sustaining fear. Uh, we can upgrade Tempest Gauntlets, which is going to matter now that we have uh, a Templar. Arc Blades, Ionic Axes, so our Shinobis can get upgrades with this one. So this is really, really important. Purifier gives us incendiary grenades uh, as a pro project in the Proving Ground. And then Shield Bearer, Stasis Vests, Stiletto... There, there's all these autopsies just get us all sorts of cool toys if you look down here here's a big one too the ionic ripjack and uh viro blade so there's some cool things here plasma grenades uh you name it but we're going with magnetic weaponry first i just feel like we got to get that upgrade and then we're immediately coming down to robotics i, I wish valuable applications stemming from this technology I wish it was a little faster assembled as soon as the research is complete 
Now, at 12 days, there's one other thing we could look at. We could come in here because we have the money and we could open up another slot to help reduce our research time a little. Spend two. Put a scientist in there. Upgraded. Ethan, you're my choice. And then 11%, 13%. Let's see if it's lowered our time on uh, research. Eh, still 11 days. So it didn't quite bump it down a, a, another turn, but it, I, I'm sure it, it made an improvement in the hours. So, uh, and then we're going to get another scientist soon uh, on one of the two missions we're infiltrating. So let's just get out there. Make this freaking contact. Oh, and review our new target. Let's see what's what we found. Seven days, 20 hours. Recover a lead from an advent vehicle. Well, guess what, guys? Uh, we're going to get in here. It still has undying loyalty as a sit rep, which we're going to find out when our, our, next, <laughs> our next infiltration starts. Uh, I'm going to see if we can put together a team for this one. Very light and give it a go this may very may very well be our last mission up here before we have to shut things down setting course for western united states all right so uh, you know the drill i'm going to pause right here as i pick out the team to go on this one we should be able to get five for sure maybe even six on this one and uh We'll get some more because we're going to need to start building up our intel after we spend what I think about 106. So we're 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 still going to be in need of intel. So this is still an important reward for us. So I'll I'll be right back. Alrighty then, here we have the team going out for Operation Purple Gasp. Uh, we're going to start out with the Bond team of Frog and Avaroth. And Frog is just out of his officer training, so we got a few extra goodies from him on this mission. So uh, hopefully that team will, will help us a lot on this one. Very light for the extra intel we're going to need to start building back up. Uh, we got another Bond mate team out here, Machine Hater and Coach back together again also. Machine Hater lost his laser cannon while he was in the infirmary, so he's going with the basic variety again. We threw on a laser sight to help try and increase the crit chance just to help his output he's got the ap ammo and uh stutter mag is on a coach so when he's not rocketing or flaming he at least has a little pop and then because we don't have a lot of upgraded weapons ecobot is going to make his first appearance out here for us Yes, our Spark is headed out on a mission. So we're looking for good things here. He's got nice additions from auto loader to aim help to elite hair trigger uh, to do everything we can to upgrade. Because he, he's got the power on this team as far as his shot. And we're going to try and put it to good use. Also, I believe Archangel Kenneth Collette is making his first, first outing. You know, my memory's bad, but I am pretty sure this is his first time out. So uh, hopefully he can help us with those psi abilities that he's picked up after his first time in the purple tube. So other than that, I think we're all okay. All okay. Let's just get it going. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. The visual of that UFO flying around just Tends to freak one out, but, you know, I think... The Elders know all too well that you approach the refuge of the insidious Templars. Do not assume that their aid will make any difference to your cause. So anyway, the, the UFO, who cares where it flies? I think that whether we end up meeting him or not is probably already figured out uh, in the event. It's, it's kind of random whether he catches us or not. And, uh... No matter how the visual looks, how close he is to us, I, I think it's it, it's all the die has been cast. So <laughs> let's continue making contact down here. Setting course for Sector 16, Indonesia. It's what I was wanting to do before we were rudely interrupted by the Warlock. Uh, and guess what? We have Operation Dragon Hammer in front of us where we're going to try and get our scientist. So this is now our time to try and make it happen. Undying loyalty is a thing. Let's view the squad that's going out. Hisako, Anaconda Chen, 
This is our Shinobi with her bond mate, Special Magic Man McGliss. Last time they were together, uh, I think this is the first, I should say, the first time they've been together since the infamous kidnapping. And Shiny Goblin Zubat out. She has our heavy hitting weapon on this team with the mag rifle. Robbie Zasso is along with a scatter ray, so those are our heaviest hitters on this team. Paul Forrest Reynolds is our Grenadier, although he is not a total Grenadier. He is kind of the rapid deployment variety where he's got two flashbangs, two grenades, so he's only got limited boom power to help us on this one. So hopefully we can stay out of extended fights in the process of getting away with our scientists. And then Marcus Nameless Joy, and for whatever reason, I noticed I gave him an SMG. I wish I would upgrade, had at least upgraded him for when he's not doing his Psy abilities that he could have had a slightly better weapon because speed wasn't that much of a concern of mine. Uh, so we'll see if we can make this work. We're moving in for an emergency extraction of a VIP working for the resistance. The spokesman provided the coordinates, but the rest is up to us. Locate the VIP and escort them out of the area safely. Goes without saying, but don't leave any hostiles standing. All right, thank you, Bradford. Operation Dragon Hammer is now a go. We're heading to Yellowknife, the Advent Priority District there. Menace 1-5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Alrighty, so uh, I kind of hate the idea or the fact, whatever you want to call it, that we have a rooftop exit and it's a huge map. We have a long, long way to go, but I guess I'm going to continue along this edge of the map where we have uh, been blessed to start and we'll figure out if we go through a building, around a building, whatever to get over here. I see... There could be access to the roof there. There definitely is access to the roof there. Uh, it, it would be nice if this is the, the one that's available for us as, as far as the distance we have to travel. So let, let's get moving and see if we can sneak around this baby and at least avoid a fair amount of them. Uh, Anaconda, you gotta lead the way. You're the one that's hidden. You're the one that, that can most safely move about. And let's go see who we can spot. Okay, and I'm gonna push you right here. And we're good to go, at least right now. Now, since we're near the map edge, I'm just gonna continue everybody up here as far as we can go. Well, actually, I guess I'm not gonna outpace you, but we're gonna, we're gonna move up here to keep pace with you and just stay along the map edge. So you said. So, uh... Let's get ourselves a moving and do just that. Uh, You're rushing me. Orders understood. I think we'll keep our scientist in the back, and everybody else, motor, motor, motor. Don't need to ask me twice. Okay. All right. Quick and quiet, kind of the way we like it if we're skirting the edge. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the way I like to hear it. So let's let's continue, and uh, I think we may have picked the right way to go, I hope. You seen these guys? Okay, so we see our first... It was a Stun Lancer and one other Advent dude, so it could be a pot of two... That'll make it a little more challenging, depending on which they, the way they're roaming. But uh, I, you know, I'd be I'd be highly shocked if we made it out of here without running into anybody. So maybe, oh, the roof is a dangerous place to leap up to on a yellow move. So uh, we're gonna stay on the ground with you, also, Anaconda, leading the way. And let's just keep pace now. We're just going to keep pace at the moment. Sure thing, armchair general. Right. Getting it 
on. Oof, our scientist is uh, bringing up the rear, that's for sure. Okay, looks like we are live. I don't know how many of us we're live against. Oh, looks like the mech's involved too. And uh, I'm almost tempted to keep keep running at the moment. We got a stun lance, and we got a lot of folks coming at us. And I'm tempted to keep running just to uh, try and get better access to better cover positions. Anaconda, please uh, scout the way. Oh God, gosh darn! <laughs> oh, oh darn it! <laughs> what are these civilians doing in the way? So maybe nameless, uh, we can get you to somehow scare them away. You know I'm the right man for this job. There they go. It's not like they don't know we're here already. So now, Anaconda, let's get moving. And Anaconda is going to get our first look around the corner here. And I think I'm going to, going to, going to, I think I'm just going to come up here just so I can get as far forward a look as, as possible. And nothing new. So, really tough. Now, the, the Stun Lancers have pretty good range, but uh, I'm worried about our, you know who I'm worried about? This lady right here. So, uh, I may have to charge forward as best we can. Okay. I've done what you asked. And then uh, do a little overwatching of some kind. Uh, Robbie Zasso, that's not much of a charge now, is it? <laughs> Speshmic list. Uh, I, I like the idea of keeping you That's here, maybe. So you're in range because we do have a mech that we have to deal with. And uh, forest. That would be out of sight until they get moving. Repositioning. Unless they run straight forward out this way. But even then, it might, uh, that I think that would be pushing a double move. Of course, unless I keep you here after all. How far can our scientists get? So I have a good idea. Oh, she's, she's, she's gonna get, she's gonna get shot at. She is gonna get shot at. Uh, at least I can hunker. But I think, well, we're going to be on Overwatch against the Stun Lancer, so uh, I guess we're dangling our scientist by no choice of our own. And hope we can get very lucky with our... with our... Hmm... I guess I'm gonna... gonna... Try, I'm trying to think of what I need to do with you, Robbie, and part of what I need to do with you is keep you nearby on Overwatch. Out of sight, at least for the moment, and on Overwatch to protect against a Sun Lancer, you know, zapping our scientist. So let's let's make that our plan. And I'm, I'm just hoping and crossing our fingers that we are not blankable. That is the hope. Not interested in uh, using all our Overwatch on this guy. Here, here we go. Oh yeah, the pea shooter. Had a load of shit. And uh, okay, so okay, okay, okay. I see what happened there. I see what happened there. And we are suppressed. So Robbie Zasso, it, it would appear. Okay, you just got a little ding on your ablative, and somehow that turned out better than I expected. The Advent Sergeant is hurt, and uh, we can take out the Stun Lancer, perhaps, without too much trouble. I really don't want to move across the way too much, so I think what I'm going to do uh, with the Stun Lancer is just come here for the Shotgun Blast and see if we can take care of things that way. Day. 
And that definitely took care of things that way. For sure. All right, we got suppressor PCS conditioning, so we're picking up loot. Uh, then here, I'm wondering if we can get ourselves in position to haywire the mech. Let's give it a go. Not a guarantee uh, with these kind of percentages, but we I think we got to give it a try first and see what we can do. All right, here we go. Go! Yeah! Oh, I feel like my, my oomph, we actually could have controlled this, but yeah, like I was going to take a chance at 36%. Okay. Suppression. Gone. Alright, and uh, you can't quite see. You can see, but I almost want to keep you for some blasts that way. So I'm thinking it is now in our best interest to bring you here. Yes, you'll be flanked, but that's a guaranteed uh, soul fire, if you want my opinion. And he's down. Oh, but he's not down. He's down, but he's not. <laughs> so all of a sudden, priorities have changed just a little bit. Uh, now, just for sake of our scientists, let's get her running and out of here while we have a quick moment to do just that. And uh, Anaconda, we're not going to deal with you yet, although you will be taking a peek for us. And... Who do we have left? We do have Mr. Run Forest Run over here. And you could do a pea shooter shot. Hmm. I really wanted to be able to save Goblin for... But it's just not going to happen because we're not going to kill you with... Uh, probably our un unboosted grenades. We're not going to kill you. So let's just... And in fact, I'm going to bring you back here. Is what I'm gonna do. Oh, he's a Psy Zombie too. I hadn't even noticed. Gog, got it. <laughs> um, Goblin, you see that, and you see this, and I'm running out of choices. We're gonna get hit by a Psy Gom Goblin, is what it looks like. And I was hoping we'd kill it on the first shot. At least we're locked on. Let's finish it off. Okay, the problem is this other guy is a Psy Zombie too. Holy smokers. And uh, there's nothing I can do to him to slow him down since we're right next to him. So, Robbie, unfortunately you've already lost... <laughs> you have already lost your half of your ablative. And so, you could argue, let's take Forrest over there, but he's going to hit hard. Let's face it, he's going to hit hard. Um, flashbang is not going to help. A grenade's not going to help, even if I could get it in there. Yeah, it's not going to do enough damage. Um, so, I can hit it in there, except I don't want to hit ourselves, so I could probably move us to get him on the outskirts of it, but then, you know, it's not going to kill him anyway. Ne neither weapon that I have remaining is going to kill the dude. Let's face it, neither weapon I have, and the only other option is to bring in flesh and, and, and kill him this way and lose our eyes. So... I think for the true long, uh, the true chances for us to get out of here, I gotta keep Anaconda's eyes open. Because remember, we saw others down this little walkway, and I gotta, I gotta have her eyes left. So we're gonna have to hope. Oh baby, we're gonna have to hope. So uh, all we're gonna do with you, uh, Forest, is uh, shoot the guy with your pea shooter. We're just gonna bring you right here. 
Hope there's no windows that that one extra step reveals. Because I don't think... Uh, it's not like there's a sectoid we can stun to make him disappear. I'm just going to shoot him with our little pea shooter and hope we do... Well, the, it, we, hope we at least damage him so we right. we end up finishing him off next time. Uh, that, that we're, we're just stuck because of this... Yeah, two to four. Oh, how disappointing. Now, the question is, I'd almost rather have him go for somebody who has full ablative as opposed to, oh, we got our four, as to partial, like uh, Robbie Zasso, who would take injuries. But we'll, we'll see how it goes, because nobody else is left except Anaconda right now. And Anaconda, I'm going to bring you a little farther out to start seeing where we might run into more. And so far, we don't seem to be. So I'm going to bring us out here to actually at a distance, get vision down that little alleyway. And we're gonna take our hurt. Right at him. Oh man, that's gonna make it hard to get up there. Okay, please don't hit beyond ablative. Oh, we got lucky. We, ladies and gentlemen, got a little bit lucky. So now, uh, I'm gonna use a free reload. So I can get two shots. Reloading. So we don't have to worry about a reanimated this thing. Looks like a hit. And now we need to follow up with a kill. How's that? And how do you how about that? We left the mannequin standing. <laughs> Oh, we're so good, are we not? We are so good! And uh, we definitely got lucky that it was a wimpy Psy Zombie that did not hurt us and hit us very hard. So, uh, Robbie Zasso finished the job here. And everybody else is going to get running. So we have experienced Don't our sit rep now. And uh, with that in mind, the rest of us need to get moving. And our, uh, there's doors. I guess they could crash through a window, but the worst case is this pod comes out the door. Hopefully there's other doors on the interior where they want to go instead. And uh, let's, let's, uh, well, I can get out here apparently without making noise. So let's, let's come out and look at the path shows that, is there, is there a window there? See this way I make noise jumping through that other direction is not making noise. I kind of am wondering what that means. Well, let's move you here so maybe I can see the window a little better. Why is there noise one way but not the other way? Well, I'm going to trust the game. <laughs> no, that, that, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. I see no broken window here. So, uh, uh, we are going to come out this way. Yeah, playing it safe. I don't, I don't trust. It doesn't look like the window's broken. Soon be done. And, uh, let's get, let's get moving, moving forward where we can. Our scientist will need help. Oh, baby. Well, now that we know you're slow, at least we know that, uh, hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to... Bring you here. It's it's full cover, even though you won't be crouching. It's a little farther forward, and you're not the speediest, the speediest one around. In fact, I think I'm gonna bring you here. They might get you in the middle of a firefight should they come out that door, but you know, sometimes you just gotta take a risk. Nameless. Uh, it looks like we can get you, oh, with, um, it looks like we can't get you quite that far. I'm going to bring you here. Now, the question is, are they, 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 do they look like they might be on yellow alert or anything like that? They, they're looking like they're, they have chill snake tails. And we're going to bring you, ah, uh, we've made a lot of noise. Let's, let's bring you here, Nameless. we got to plan this and plan it very carefully. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to do, and I'm not feeling confident about these plans. 
Uh, I'm gonna run you all the way out here, Magic Man. Oh, that was unnecessary. That was uncalled for. And who do we got left? Just you, Anaconda. Just you. And right now, you can get out of here. Let's face it. I'm keeping you right there for vision down the alley. I think we're gonna, well, I'll move you right there to get a slightly different angle on that vision. And you'll overwatch. Eyes open. All right, they didn't come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Uh, maybe they went back through this door? I wonder if uh, we can get a little better vision in there, Anaconda. We can get a little better angle through that window. You think? Oh, they're still in the board. They're still in the boardroom having a little meeting. So the the big goal is going to be trying to get close enough, like up to this point with folks, hoping we don't see anything farther than Anaconda can see. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring us here to try and see farther down there. And apparently, we don't yet. And I don't think coming here, yeah, that's that's just a, a citizen is what it looks like. So I think coming here, now let's see how close our scientist is to getting out. Close. So if I would, did bring her here and we don't see anything through that window, that's a big if. She can get out next turn. Now she probably could also get out here, but then we risk vision. Okay, I was waiting for the big camera pan, and uh, I think our vision is good. And I'm gonna try getting everybody else. I, I'm gonna try, uh, the only one I'm worried about is you, Robbie Zasso, getting that far. Uh, I'm gonna try getting everybody else off in this general direction too. Now I'm wondering, because you're almost there, if I got you this far, that might be enough to get us out gonna be cutting it pretty dang close so you know I think I'm just gonna come here on overwatch and so far so good and that that's the plan get everybody motoring get everybody moving and get over here and I do not like the idea of running up on this roof I do not because we have I think we we need to stay on the ground so uh, shiny we don't want any of your shiny shininess to come through the windows and let these guys see us, is what I'm thinking. And yeah, we gotta come up here with you, Robbie Zasso. Yep. Just like old times. Oh, that's good to know. And uh, we're gonna bring you right here. You, I don't think, are quite able to get out. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have some tough decisions coming up. And you, right now, cannot make it out. And I think running you here is not going to be good enough. So I kind of need to push it for you, Forrest, to go there. Proceeding as ordered. One less Overwatch. But then again, you never did have the strongest weapon for Overwatch anyway. Now, Magic Man, you're pretty close. So if I just brought you here, you might... You just might be able to get out. I'm not convinced because we don't see everybody in there. So I'm not convinced that this is a safe space. And so therefore, Magic Man, I'm bringing you here. Ready to move. All right. I think everybody has moved as far as they I'll can. We'll overwatch. Still hit them. Overwatch where right. we're able and see if they now they'll come out the door, right? No, they do not. Now the thing is, when I run up to the top, they're gonna scatter. So my scientists can make it. Let, let's let's get a sense of who all can make it. Forest can make it. Nameless can make it. They're activating as we make it. And even by one step, Goblin can make it. So you're going to be the one <laughs> that can't make it yet. So I am going to need to bring you up here 
How far away are we? That's a, that's a single move away. So if I move you forward to the max of your movement, next turn, Robbie Zasa, we should be able to make it. What I'm counting on. And then, Goblin, I'll move you a slight bit farther forward. So you can also make it by more than one step. And we're going to hope that everything stays quiet for one more turn. And I think we may have a lucky mission on our side on this one. All right, everybody, Overwatch. Just try it. Don't start following now. orders. Won't be none. Oh, hunker, please. I was trying to Overwatch with our scientist. I don't know what I was thinking. Watching. And they did not move. So that should mean we are out of here. Let's just make sure you were you were the iffy one, Robbie Zasso, and you 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 make it without fail. So now it's just a matter of uh, getting ourselves out of here. And I'm not going to worry about any battles or anything. Get to get to the farthest corner as far as everybody can get, and let's let's get going. I'm going for it. And they see us. Damn it. Yeah. Well. Go ahead and say damn it, but we knew that was going to happen. Rocketeer. I'm glad we did not have to face a rocketeer and a snake. And they're all running in weird places, are they not? So, that was a, a weird scatter. Now, how far pack can you run? Well, we're running you there. I hope I don't run out of spaces where everybody can move, because that would kind of suck. Well, you know what we can do? Uh, we can evacuate the ones that are there and make room for the rest. So there, there is no problem here. There is no problem. I was panicking for nothing. Move, move, move. Hey, you know I'm the right man for this job. I gotta make sure I'm in the zone because if I, I misclick and, and we don't make it... <laughs> <laughs> that would be embarrassing. Okay, that is in the zone. Man's gotta do I think man's gotta we do. just barely made it out. Right. In very sneaky fashion. I was not. A, I was expecting a lot more to have to fight. But to be quite honest, I'm glad we did not. Because uh, it, looking at how tough the earlier battle was... Uh, Especially with this sit rep, we, uh, we don't have the strongest weapons except for a couple. Let's get going. VIP is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. All right, Asako Chen got a couple ability points because of the sit rep. That's kind of a random thing that pops up when you're doing a sit rep mission. So uh, we'll see if we that helps us take advantage of an XCOM row down the road. Let's get in here for the photo. And looks like oh, we might just be able to do this one right off the bat. Just, uh, you know, we're just uh, up in our view. That that thing down here doesn't get in the way. I'm, I'm comfortable with that. We do look a little relieved now, don't we? Fighting by land, sea, and air. They cannot withstand us. All right, I like Flawless. Uh, I was expecting more of a fight with the amount of enemies we were facing, but we were kind of lucky to have a narrow pathway. We did get discovered on that narrow pathway, but in the end, it worked out for us. I would like to assure the citizens of Advent that our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. All right. The elders have total <laughs> faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. Thank you, Speaker. 100% shot percentages, not like we took that many. Shiny Goblin dealt the most damage. Of course, she had the mag, the lone mag weapon on this one, so that does help. Robbie's also made the most attacks. Shiny Goblin also... What was that one again? Most under fire, so you're the one shot at the most. And then Anaconda Chen led the way and therefore moved the furthest. So uh, good job, team. I was a little worried about this mission going in. 
to be quite honest. Uh, I was worried about the firepower we had overall. You know, we had a couple strong individuals, but not everybody was, and I messed up on one of the weapon assignments going in, so... Congratulations, team, for covering for Commander's potential mistakes. Executed to the highest standards. Excellent work, Commander. All right, good news is we got a couple promotions out of here. So, Goblin, let's go see what you have available right now. And it's starting to get you up here. So, yeah, we're, we're building you with more the Overwatch build here, it looks like. We've got Cool Under Pressure now. Oh, we I mean, we pick up Cool Under Pressure. So we get extra aim on Overwatch and other reaction shots. And most importantly, we can hit crits now in doing that. So, uh, let's pick that up. And, uh, Forrest, what is your promotion gonna be? Uh, blue screen bomb. So this will also now help. Your flashbang grenades now disorient robotic units and reduce their resistance to hacking. So, yeah, you, you, you work very well in conjunction with any specialist we bring along uh, to help them to hack into whatever drones mechs whatever is robotic and it looks like we have 18 skill points for an average and um 49 so we the, the ones i picked here we can do i i didn't pick yeah as a grenadier i didn't think that made sense and uh stiletto you know with your smg pierce three armor well it's still when you get past that armor uh, still an smg so i don't i just doesn't make sense to me to spend 30 ability points on that and same thing with uh, smg so i'm going with fortify which we can't quite afford yet so bring them on and it works with explosives and since you have weaker explosives overall because we aren't doing some of these perks I think I'm going to pick Bring Them On now just to give you, at least for the couple grenades we do bring from you, uh, a chance uh, for a little extra oomph on those explosions. So we're, we're going to give that a go and pick it now. And then uh, Deep Cover perhaps, uh, that's not as important. I think this one, given the damage your grenades are outputting, is good to pick up now. We did get a PCS conditioning and a suppressor. Both on the low level of things so uh, they're sellable and we got some new research time reduced by 10 percent after this and i think uh, getting that extra scientist was very important and as far as our new yeah we're down to 10 days so i think it dropped another day off of what our research had been so uh that's kind of nice Kind of nice to get up to finally advanced mag weapons. I think I feel like I'm we're a little behind on the uh, advanced mag stuff, so we need to pick that up ASAP. Keep that going, and then uh, take advantage of our robotics that we picked up, the drones. All right, uh, let's get back out there. I don't think there's anything else I need to do on the interior. Two days on the bond training, six days there. Let's just see if anybody. Uh, for instance, we we did we have a we had a sigh out on this one. I doubt he got a promotion from one because he already got his first easy promotion. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't think he he uh, nameless would get promoted already. So let's get back out here and uh, scan for our next mission and see if we can make contact over here. Uh, we got a new individual recruited to New Australia. And I'm fine about that because uh, we're going to need... I'm, I'm just going to keep on recruit because this is our, our chance to get up to what we need. Whoops. To take advantage of supply when we go supply. If we can manage to squeeze in uh, before... And when is our supply drop? Well, in two days, if we can squeeze in one more, you know, we're okay-ish with 10. But 13 would be ideal. So let's finish contact. And we got a potential supply raid. Let's take a peek at that. We got a three-day timer. Which? Uh, yeah, but with undying loyalty. You know, 
with undying loyalty, that's that's a little tough. But raid the train, intercept advent reinforcements. Let's take a look at it, because maybe with a boost we can manage the three days. And I think we have enough intel beyond where I could afford a boost, beyond what we need for that contact. Setting course for the Western U.S. Precinct. Okay, a three-day timer. Raid the Advent Trade. Or train. Moderate is 19 to 21. Uh, I'm gonna pause right now, and then we'll come back, and we'll take. A, I'll, I'll take a look and see if I feel we can squeeze this one in, yay or nay. Okay, I, I ran out uh, possibilities of a team. The largest team I was able to put together was a team of four to go against 19 to 21, and uh, I don't know about you, but that just sounded extreme. A three-day timer. I was excited because. Half the time we've, we've only been getting a uh, one-day, two-day timer, and I was hoping we might be able to make this work, but to make it work for sure, I think we we got to be more up around four days at least to have a chance to take out the five to, to do what I think it really going to be pushing it. Even if I took Shinobi Sniper uh, and tried just picking off with Sniper and keeping folks back, making them come to us... You know, I, I I just and the the bummer is it's a full salvage again, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do a pass. Sorry about this, guys. All right, so let's let's get back down here and uh, finish in 30 hours our contact. Setting course for Indonesia means they're moving supplies and forces and everything around, and I'm not able to do a thing about it. It means missions may become undoable up here uh, once that succeeds, because right now it's strength four. So in a in a few days, just a few days, uh, we're gonna have to go hiding up here. That's what I what I'm expecting. Okay, we got bond training completed. Uh, let's just check and see since we're here if we have another set. We have no new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. Okay, we still have uh, Dave Daly and Grinder and uh, Mike Munoz. And he, I, I don't think your stamina will improve while you're in bond training, but we're going to keep forcing it, keep pushing it. And this is uh, level three. So you guys would be our first level three bond team. A combined standard shot attack by this soldier and their bond mate. This shot is a free action for the bond mate. We're gaining perks little by little. And can we at last? Incoming message, ah. you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. Okay, so Avatar Progress 4, Dark Events Completed 5. Uh, we did a lot of things here. We've liberated our first mission in July. So let's, let's uh, keep pushing it. Oof. I hate seeing it get that high. Okay, Advent deploys advanced exoskeletons, so uh, that means more armor, and it's permanent, so that's terrible. Lost World is a possible dark event where the lost can occur on any mission, and uh, uh, yeah, those are the two that are pending right now. One permanent, Lost World, yuck. New tactics to be used against the Elder Servants. If you would order it, we will make it so. All right, so uh, in order to hunt the Chosen Part 2, we would need a Tech Sergeant and two other soldiers. Uh, a small chance for an ambush, but I think uh, we need to find a way to do this. Let's see who's available as a Tech Sergeant. We have two. And Andrei... Who is your bondmate? J. Joker Kelly. That's a good bondmate. Maybe uh, J. Joker, are you able and available somewhere? 
Oh, you are, but you're just, it just happens that Andre is a high enough, high enough level. So I could either take out Shane Vanson. You know, I think I, I like this bond pair better in case we get ambushed than having a sniper get ambushed. So uh, Andre, you're going to go on this one as the, the tech sergeant. Then we're going to bring your bond mate along, J. Joker Kelly. And we need one more soldier. Willy nilly, random, wandom. <laughs> in fact, let's 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 have the Templar go out with you. How about that? She needs to start. She'll gain a little experience that way, and in, in what hopefully would be a low, and her movement's average, low low stress environment maybe. Our order is clear, and we will obey it. So in a few days, we also should then be able to run multi, you know, more than just one a month on these covert operations. So that that's that's good news there. Let's finish this. Carlos is back! Sectoid, welcome back from the infirmary. Chosen Warlock is hard at work for his masters in this area. New regional contacts located. So we have Pursuit of Knowledge. So lab facilities provide an additional 10% boost to research time. So this was this was also another reason I wanted to pick up this because we gained a continent bonus, our first continent bonus. And uh, speeding up research, Heck yeah, I'm all for that. All right, uh, so we have done it. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna switch everybody over so we have a full month of supply. We have 10 here, it'd be nice to have more, but uh, I'll take the 10 now so we can start gathering more supplies each month. And then uh, New Indonesia, you're a strength three region. So right off the bat, your strength three. I think what we'll probably do anyway, vigilance is four. You know, that's the thing about being next to here. Sometimes they'll 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 build up forces next to our liberated region. And um, I think I'm just gonna probably scan here until our mission comes up. Well, actually what I'm gonna do first before I scan, we have two missions here. Let's go uh, pick up a uh, resistance mech. Avenger plotting new course. And we got a new target somewhere. And I'm not taking, I don't know, well, 13 days we could, we could take eight out, but it counters Lost World. <laughs> yeah, but by the time we go on this, it'll be strength five. So the very light will turn into 12 to 14. And uh, high explosives, undying loyalty still over here. Um, well, you know, we got to take a look at this because Intel package encountering that dark event and that kind of a timer, Ugh, except it's in the subway, but still, <laughs> but still, yeah, let's, let's, let's take a look at it. Setting course for sector nine, Western United States. All right, so we will be right back as I pick out the team. All right, we got the team put together and I'm uh, doing something I don't normally do. And that's purely because we know we got forces coming in here. Force level is probably going to go up to five. That's going to raise up to at least 13, uh, to four, uh, uh, 13 to 15. So uh, I I'm taking a team of eight. It's a subway also, which I despise. And... Uh, Undying Loyalty is also there. There's a lot of, call me a wimp. <laughs> I don't care. But uh, we cleaned out the Havens, so some folks that were in the Havens are gonna get back out there again. Uh, namely, uh, Grave Digger, leading the way. And uh, you got your Cal-15 Bullpup and a Flashbang. So there you go. And then we have the Bond team of Max Grapevine and Maltese. You got both laser weapons here, uh, along with the AP ammo. And uh, even though subways aren't, don't always have the greatest lines of sight, I figure since we're taking a full squad, we can afford to, to squeeze in a sharpshooter. 
And then we have Anaconda Chen going out with her bond mate again. Magic Man, they just completed that last mission, and now they're going out once again. So there is uh, those two we're very familiar with. A regular assault rifle still on Magic Man. SMG for uh, Dan Locutus Stubbs, our technical. So we got a little boom power with uh, flamethrowers and whatnot. Then we got uh, Felipe H11. I think this is his first mission since uh, the Covert Op, it might even be. Uh, we have a handgun on him. I know you've been calling out, don't forget the handgun, don't forget the handgun. I decided, since we could afford it, I'll give you lightning hands to go with it, even though uh, we really want to get up to face off too. But I figured if we're going to carry a pistol, I want at least a perk that we can use with it and put it to good use. That's not the, the fanciest of them all, but we took it. And then finally, Tiber Azure, this is your beginning introductory mission. Hopefully, uh, you're going to be a uh, good support for us with your low level psi abilities, but still, they, uh, you know. They come in handy. So you have an assault rifle, not an SMG like the last Psy I took out. So I'm keeping it with a regular weapon. Your speed is good. So uh, we can afford to be, you know, a tick slower. And then beyond that, I don't really have anything else special to let you know. I think we'll be okay even with increased enemies on this. It is kind of a long infiltration. Worst comes to worst, we could always uh, boost it if we felt necessary to speed things up. But I think uh, a 10 day infiltration even if it turns out to be 13-15 with a team of eight, uh, I'm hoping we hang in there just fine. Sky Ranger, do menace, ready to deploy. Okay, so uh, in about a second, <laughs> we're going to have this mission ready to go. And let's just see. It's going to be very light probably even after one tick, but we're going to let the 100% tick over. Uh, we could over try over infiltrating, but it, by the time we do that, the strength level could go up and it won't really make much of a difference anyway. So uh, as soon as this is available, we're going to get going. So uh, let's just let the time advance. In fact, we'll just sit here and let it advance. And there it is. So this is our next mission next time. Just as a reminder on this one, this is a squad going out. We got Drummix back out with uh, Blue Jay. Uh, that Bond pair is going out. Commander Zigzag's going out on this one with Nefertiti No Relation. There's another Bond pair. And we have... SMG, laser Sten gun, a gauntlet Mark II, we got a laser cannon, we got a scatter ray, so we have some upgraded weapons. Now, Advent Horizon, you have just a regular sniper rifle, but, you know, you do have the AP rounds, and then Justine Richards, I think this is your uh, first official mission where you'll, well, I think we're past that point, maybe. <laughs> Let's hope we can get you a promotion on this one. Let's hope. I can't remember if it's, your if it's your first one out in the field. If so, congratulations for making it to the big time. And we'll see you next episode. All this team. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time.